Hey, what's going on, Archons? Welcome to another episode on the Boulevard Blake YouTube channel. Um, like Time Traveler here with the most shock look on his face, because Winds of Exchange is here now. We are going to dive into opening a Winds of an Exchange deck and how we have come a far way from Coda when opening a deck especially with Ghost Galaxy now running the show and changing up some of the ways that um, we view things. So without further delay, let's get into this and kind of go through the discussion of what I wanted to talk about in this episode. So oh my goodness, I'm tired of these corners here. All right. So, here we go. Ooh, this is cool. This is a token I have personally not opened yet. And, okay, what is going on here? Why is my camera doing this so hard? Give me one second. I'm just going to adjust my lighting source here. Okay, there we go. What is happening? Um, all right, hopefully that fixes it. Okay, my face is super bright now. Um, so here we are with Fraulein Yimbat Duong, and we have a Winds of Exchange deck that I am opening. Now, I said how far we have come since Coda when opening a deck because originally when you would open a Call of the Archons, even AOA, Worlds Collide, Mass Mutation, I would say Mass Mutation things started to change. But you would open a deck and you were like, how good is this deck? And then you could maybe do an exercise, uh, how would this be in sealed? Now we're in a position where opening a single deck no longer has that same thought process. I mean, there is no such thing as single deck sealed currently, uh, which I know in my local scene, people would like to change. I know in other areas, people like to see single deck sealed be a thing again. It is the cornerstone of Keyforge at the end of the day. I'm going to talk about that later. But now I'm recording. You didn't tell me. I'm still recording. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, so my wife just came in with my dog. She's hanging out with me. I'm so. sorry. <laughs> Here you go. And um <laughs> Nope. I'm sorry. <laughs> and um yeah, so <laughs> here here we are looking at this deck my puppy is next to me being good um we're looking at many different things now so when i open the single deck now i'm evaluating two things one will be how powerful is this deck on its own and now two is how does each pod stack up to create a potential for an alliance which is something we never had before it is a secondary aspect of opening a deck that is new so first off here we have explore or no cadet which um i actually really like this this card i think it's a pretty neat card it says destroyed ready cadets most powerful neighbor um i think destroyed triggers on your turn and the ability to do things is um is very strong and provides uh, some interesting contemplation when you're doing things so Without further ado, let's just look at this deck as a whole. And then we'll go from there. So first off, we have Navigator Ali. So then we have Uplink, which has the, this creature gains action, make a token creature for each of this 
creatures non-star alliance neighbors okay uplink again but with a damage pip which is really nice because you can get rid of one of your cadets to ready teamwork make a token creature if there are more enemy than friendly creatures you archive specialist guthrak a little bit of ember control there if you can fight uh, again this could pair with cadet very nicely uh, red alert never sad to see it Ooh, transporter platform Ref return a friendly creature in each upgrade attach that creature to their owner's hand so that provides some really nice aspects of returning creatures to your hand that could be tokens and then getting to play them tactical officer moon rearrange the creatures in a player's battle line uh, this actually is i think a really nice card with cadet since you are able to position cadet in a way that uh, when you destroy it you get to choose what's ready Nursoto heal creatures detention coil creatures cannot fight another detention coil this creature cannot fight um, actually really nice with transporter platform the amount of upgrades we have here cultural exchange your opponent puts each card from their archives into their hand don't know how i feel about that but it could be really good uh mars yixilis mesmeris a creature captures one from their own side xanthix harvester we all know that gain one scoop up put a friendly non-mars creature and an enemy non-mars creature into your archives um, this is great simply because of the fact that we have cadet so that's a non-mars card we could have control over two mk2 generators kaboom nice okay that's good board control is always good another upgrade after fight after we make a token creature deal two damage to each creature and each other creature with the same name as that creature um just ways to get rid of tokens on your opponent's side or a combination of multiples of creatures this could also work with cadet if you have a mars situation lined up where you could ready your mars creature so again i'm liking cadet two clone home lots of token generation here brain dart a little bit of ember control yixel the iron captain each friendly iron x creature captures two i think that's the only iron x creature so uh not amazing now let's go into brobnar shock herder ready and fight with a neighboring creature um that is cadet allowing you to ready again so very interesting rowdy the scald providing damage pips pound get rid of cadets pound with a bonus icon then we have a couple of pelfs again cadet and pelf could be a thing might club ready and rage a creature smith gain two if you control more creatures than your opponent heave the huge deal two damage to each undamaged creature again i can just see cool ways to ready stuff here crim torch tooth all right blood of titans ancient battleground all right this is a new card i've not seen this before each friendly creature cannot reap and gains after fight gain one not sure how i feel about this with this deck um now let's look at this as a whole so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen creatures quite a low creature count uh pips though we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14 15 so nice amount of pips to counter uh, ember control one two three four five six six cards that do ember control board controllers there's a lot in here uh, a lot of board control actually one two three if you want to go that route four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve yeah lots lots of board control which you like to see <clears throat> especially with a low creature count because then you can stay on top of not having as many creatures now let's look at token generation there's one two three four 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cards that make tokens. That's a that's a good number. And then obviously we have a number of efficiency cards here. <clears throat> Not a ton, but in different ways doing different efficiency, which I like. Okay, so overall evaluation, um, I do not think this is a top tier deck. I think it's going to be a really fun deck to play. Now let's look at it this. So I think that the Star Alliance pod is actually something that could be used, um, especially with Transporter Platform and all these things here. The I, I don't know how I feel about the Cultural Exchange. I'm guessing you're in control of your opponent's archive, which is a good thing. Um, I guess if your opponent has cards from your, that they archived through Mars, this works. Um, I like Navigator Ali for being able to control your token creation. Same with teamwork. Um, the transporter platform plays here, I think are really interesting. That's the one I'm, I'm most interested in. And I do like cadet with all this. I think cadet is, um, is is really going to be interesting with this combination so i do like this pod um mars pod i mean if you're looking to create certain tokens especially mars this is going to be great um, it has a little bit of everything but there is only three creatures so that's one thing thing to note low creature count um okay pod i don't think i would use this really in constructing a pod and then we get over here i mean i think the ancient battleground is what makes this uh considered and considered this pod into consideration but it may be only a placeholder until you can find a better ancient battlefield but that being said with shock herder um pelfs being able to fight um might club pairing with it crim torch tooth doing things these are all things that could make for an interesting decision with ancient battleground so i do like that uh this pod i'm not sure this is a pod that you would use use but i think it's tentatively one to create a concept around ancient battleground and then iterate as you find more interesting components um, I do think that this one is interesting. The Star Alliance one, I think, has some interesting aspects that you could utilize and uh, do some fun things with. Uh, it would require some other synergies. And, of course, um, Cadet being an interesting one. So those are all the considerations I would make. Uh, yeah, I do like Cadet as, as a token. I, I think it is one of the more interesting tokens just for how you could set up and do things. Obviously having the ability to destroy it on your turn when you play them is more crucial. Um, allowing your opponent to basically ready the power from it, was, it means nothing. But if your opponent is spending time prioritizing getting rid of cadets over other creatures because of their potential for you to we'll call it house cheat or ready more effectively, then as a distraction or a disruptor within the game, I like cadet. So, uh, and I really like the art on this, actually. I think it's fun art. So that's going to do it for this. These are all considerations opening a deck now, and uh, I think it's it's a lot of fun, and I'm, I'm glad that Winds of Exchange has provided this now and that Alliance has provided this. Um, I do miss Sealed uh, as a format. I will be playing it still in my local store until we get an official OP saying otherwise. Hopefully, it will be something that can be done at store level still. But until then... Um, I hope this was informative of how you can evaluate a deck now and how there's layers to the evaluation. So as always, folks, may your ember never be stolen and your keys forged promptly. Have a good one.